Welcome back everyone, it's Lodestar here, and this is part 34 of my Kingdom Hearts HD Dream Drop Distance playthrough. And yeah, last in the last part we finished up uh, Symphony of Sorcery with Sora, and now we're going to be doing it with uh, Riku, so yeah. Let's get straight into it. Let's quickly drop his Sora. I've got about 200, um... Yeah, I don't know. Probably, uh... Maximum level of drop decelerator, um, maybe a defense increase, um, ooh, maybe attack increase. There we go. Oh, yes, as well as I got a new controller today, so there won't be as much static as there was in the last few parts. Um, very quickly, I do want to quickly change my party. I want to take out the frog, because I got his uh, combo plus in the last part. Put in the uh, T-Rex. So yeah, there is that, as well as... I'll put all for one on. There we go. Even though it is weaker, again. Um, so yeah, I think that is it. Um, I don't think there is anything I need to put on my commands. No. Oh, I can take off Blizzard Edge and put something on. Uh, something else on now. I suppose. Oh yeah, this one. All right. Let's visit the world. Now the dive for Riku isn't too difficult, from what I remember. So let's do it. Hopefully, I get a rank first time. Defeat 30 enemies before time runs out. Here's our first free. Here we go. Ooh, nice. We got the laser one. Nice. Okay, we're halfway there. There we go. You gotta time that one right to kill that one. Okay. Sweet, seven left. Okay, one. One more. And yeah, there we go. Oh man, I did not mean to actually go for that. I just wanted to speed boost. Alright, let's see how well we did. Nice. Alright. I noticed that a lot of the last few are easier than the first few. A flood? Strange. It's coming from upstairs. Alright. I actually like Riku's uh, story more, or at least level design more than uh, Sora's one. I noticed something about the T-Rex is um, he gets in your way a lot, as well as he can actually attack you. Um, he does this move where he um, goes up and try and bites the enemy, like he has done to me before. But sometimes he can actually uh, get you instead of the enemy. Doesn't do a lot of damage at all, but still can be a bit annoying. Oh, right, well, here's another chest. And yeah, I think that is all the chests. Oh wow, there's three of them. Oh man. I only thought there was one. Oh dear. Wow, Bloomer does so much damage. It's insane. But yeah, there's a level up. And yeah, now we can continue on. Now, I think I'm going to wrap Riku's side of the story with 
two parts. I noticed that Riku's the last few worlds for him has Mickey. been quite short. They only last like two parts, and we saw his last about three. It's this musical score. It has him trapped. You won't be able to defeat that darkness with brute force. I'm Mickey, the sorcerer's apprentice. Who are you? Riku, if brute force won't work, tell me what will. Do you really mean you're gonna try and help me? Yes. Gosh, Riku, something tells me you and I are gonna be good friends and we'll help each other out a lot someday. <laughs> Basically sums up uh, a lot of chain, chain of memories. Is a sound idea powerful enough to dispel the darkness. Can you find it? I'll try. Leave it to me. There. Yeah. Yes, let's view the flashback. He thinks he's all that powerful because he's got a, his hands are glowing. And that's how Mickey got his army of brooms. <laughs> Every time I see the brooms, it reminds me of that scene in uh, Birth by Sleep where they carry Pete out. Ugh, I hate that boss. We don't have to deal with him though in Riku's story because we saw that Sora destroyed him. Uh, let's have a quick see if we can buy anything. Um, oh, Payback Raid. That sounds pretty cool. Payback Raid and Payback Blast are counter attacks you can use after an enemy attack send you flying. After you are sent flying, press square to strike back. Okay. So yeah, this one's Riku only, this one's Sora only, so, yeah. Let's quickly equip it. Um, now, to do so, you have to take Aerial Recovery off, because this is basically Aerial Recovery plus the uh, the counter-attack, and we'll put uh, Rapid Descent on. Alright. Let's finally enter the Musical Realm. Okay. Again, I like Riku's uh, level much more than Sora's, personally. Okay, I missed that last triangle. Shoot, these guys can take you out pretty fast. I really don't like these guys. You need to destroy them as soon as possible. And it's funny too, because you don't think they'd be all that, you know, strong considering how small they are. Nice, got all of them there. There we go. 
Okay. So here's one chest. I think there is another one somewhere. Ah, oh, well, I'm sure I'm done fighting, so. Like, I hit him, like, I've hit him four or five times. And nothing happened. It's so annoying. Those L ones. Is there another chest somewhere? I could have sworn I saw one. Ah, it's right there. Well, there we go. I was going to say, I could have sworn I saw one against the wall. Nice. Okay, I did actually, when I was test recording this, um, world, I did miss a chest in this area. Oh, man. Here we go. Oh, dear. Well, there's that counter-attack for you. You see Riku shot out a, a black blast, and there it goes again. Oh. There we go. He was getting really annoying. Okay, here's one. There's not the one I missed, though. The one I missed is actually up here. Oh, well, you saw it. Here we go. Okay, not too bad. And here's another one. Well, most of them exploded on the wall. I hate when enemies don't come down. Come down here. Here we go. Well, there's one. Bam. I like the music for this world, too. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's the move I was talking about that my T-Rex does. You can actually be caught up in that. There's that. Oh, there's the frog. I'm going to skip him. Um, hmm. I should actually look at my report, see if I'm actually missing any chests. Okay, okay, okay. I hate that move. Ugh. This music was really loud. Yeah, okay, there's that one. There's a chest. Uh, I suppose I'll have a quick look now. Okay, I guess I won't. Don't you enemies. Dark Fire is really good. I wish it was as good as what it was in... Uh, I wish it was as good as it is here then in uh, Birth by Sleep. Because unfortunately it wasn't that great in Birth by Sleep, I don't think. Okay, now we're getting all of them so far. That's pretty good. Oh no, I need to sneeze. Okay, I pulled it off. Oh. I tried to pause, but I, you can't pause in those uh, music rhythm things. That's nice. Now they let us go on, um, back there, to where I already clicked the chest, because I used my flow motion to get up there. So yeah, we don't need to deal with that. Okay. This area is very packed with enemies. Okay, 
is that? Almost leveled up again too, which is pretty good. Now if I die I'm guessing I respawn back in this place, which wouldn't be too bad to be honest. This music reminds me a bit of uh, the Hundred Acre Woods for some reason. Okay, there's the uh, level up. Strength and magic, I think it was. And yeah. I hate those enemies so much. Alright, I'm back. I just killed the other three. This is the fourth one. And there we go. So that's all them. Um, there is a chest back here. Which was, as we could see, that was the entrance down here by the save point. So it was just off to our right. And now, I think, uh, we go up here. There's one up here. I'm pretty sure a Dream Eater spawned here, but I guess not. They do here, though. And a lot, a two, a lot uh, about two dragons, which is a lot to deal with. Have some balloon rock. Okay, that didn't do anything. Okay, there we go. We got rid of one L. These dragon things do not uh, get stunned very much. Well, they don't stagger, is what I meant to say. And what I mean by that is when you hit them, they don't, like, see what this guy's doing. He's getting hit back. The dragon guys don't, and they usually hit you while you're hitting them. There we go. Oh, okay. Okay, there's that guy down. I think that's everyone. Okay. So now we're going to do our uh, thing on this. Why is my dragon way over down there? I mean my dragon, my dinosaur. Okay, that was awful. I still got it though. Oh no, I didn't. Never mind. Okay. It was just awful. There we go. So get th that make uh, that gives us more platforms, basically. Man, I keep stuttering, and it's getting really bad. Don't know why. Anyway, we're going to use this mushroom and jump on top of it. We're going to collect this chest. Um, and I suppose we're just going to jump down. Oh dear! Ah, there we go. Nice. Oh no, there's a dragon one. Okay, he's almost dead. Bam, there we go. Now, I think if we go this way, there is a chest. And a dragon. There's a lot of them. Where did he go? You must have despawned. But yeah, there we go. We got the dragon recipe. So now we could create him if we wanted to. I think I need some rare materials to do so though, because he, you know, you, you need them for him. And I think I used most of them to get my uh, dinosaur just for once more, so yeah. Um, I think we've got everything so far. Yep. Okay. We're good as gold. So yeah, I think I may call it a pie here. 
Thank you for watching everyone. This was Lodestar playing Kingdom Hearts HD Dream Drop Distance. This was part 34. And oh, would you not? Anyway. Um, yeah, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in part 35. Where we will be uh, finishing up this world. So yeah. Bye.